Ethiopia is a country on the east coast of Africa. The International Knowledge Transfer Team. Ms. Matus, Mr. Blair Evans, Mr. Matt Evans, Blaine, our translator, DeAndre, Diana, Raven, Tashiana, Micah, Octavia, Ian, and myself. My name is Keita. A health post, which is like a clinic in Ethiopia, needed electricity. By providing electricity for the health post, they would be able to use more of the equipment they need and be able to use lights at night in case of an emergency. We also taught Ethiopian high school students about solar energy so that when we left, they would be able to maintain the solar system. Over the course of six months, we learned a lot about solar energy, Ethiopian culture, food, climate, language, and history. When we finally arrived, the first thing we noticed was how warm it was. The land was beautiful, and we saw animals we had never seen before. The next day, we met the students we'd be teaching. We decided to start with a get-to-know-you icebreaker. We gave everybody a pen and a piece of paper and told them to write down their name, their age, their favorite color, their favorite movie, and their favorite quote. One quote in particular stood out to us. When you plan for a year, plant a seed. When you plan for a decade, plant a tree. When you plan for a lifetime, teach the people. After hearing that, we were very impressed, and that removed any misgivings we had about working through the language barrier. Within five days, we taught them everything they needed to know.
By the end of that five days, they were able to put together a solar system all by themselves. But we didn't just work all week long. We taught them a few American games as well. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> and in return, they taught us a few Ethiopian games. No, I think she's gonna win. <laughs> By the end of the trip, we completed phase one of the project. Phase two is installing the solar panels on the health posts. The students know exactly what they are doing. So much, in fact, that they themselves will install the solar panels and teach others about solar energy. Our work completed, it was time to say goodbye to our new friends. Learning about Ethiopia from a computer screen and books is one thing, but actually meeting the people and seeing everything for ourselves is completely different. They taught us that they value everything they receive, from information to a simple t-shirt. This was certainly an experience we will never forget. <laughs>